I wanna show you the top 10 most useful GPT inside of the official GPT store that I've found so far. And it took me just about a week to record this video because I kept running out of credits. Even with the new Teams version, I still ran out of credits, but I took these to a deep dive. I tested a little over 100 different GPTs to make this top 10 list. And before I show you the 10, I did make this GPT called GPT Finder a while back. So if you look this up right here, it says by Skill Leap AI. I did something none of the other GPT finders did. Let me show you. I put together this entire document and I downloaded this as my knowledge base. And this has the top GPTs in all kinds of different categories. So instead of having over 20,000 GPTs in some directory, I just chose the top 100, just about a little over 100 of the most useful. So you could find that GPT finder. So here, if I show you the knowledge base, these PDFs, these are all different categories from that document I just showed you, and they're handpicked based on how useful they are. Again, based on my opinion, but I tested this. I've been testing GPTs since the day they came out. So worth a look here. Again, this is called GPT Finder. Now onto the official countdown here. At number 10 here, we have a GPT called DocMaker. And by the way, every time you use the search bar and type in a GPT, you'll see how many chats have taken place inside of that GPT, if you haven't noticed this before but this one has over 25,000 chats. That's pretty high up there so far based on the usage in the GPT store. And if you're building GPTs, I really like this one option here. What can this GPT do? So if you set that as the very first recommendation on one of the, one of the chats that you could pre-select, this is a great way to tell people what your GPT is all about and tell them exactly in a step-by-step -step list of what they could do with it. Just to save some time, this could create PDFs, documents, PowerPoints. And I went through here, I created a PowerPoint, it gave me a link, I went to that link, used an action, and it took me to this website where this was just some of my prompts to create a document. Very simple, but it's editable. It also could turn this into audio. So you could press this listen option to do that, and you could just download it from here. Very basic PowerPoint, but it downloads it in PowerPoint format, so you could then open up, have a skeleton here to start with, save you some time. Next on the list, this is under the Dolly category, and this is called Super Describe. So you upload any images and you get the right prompt to give to Dolly 3 to get the similar image. Let's try it. Here's a picture here. This is from pixels.com. Let's see what we get on Super Describe. And this is what Dolly created for us. This is the original. So if you have a reference photo, this is a great way to get something that looks like it. And if you click it and press I, you get the exact same prompt that you could copy and paste to create similar images using Dolly. Number eight on the list, we have Prompt Perfect. This one has 25,000 chats. And what this does is with each prompt that you give ChatGPT, you usually need more details, more context, more structure, so ChatGPT could give you a better response. This is exactly what this GPT is for. Write your prompt, and this will enhance your prompt by adding all the things you need to take your prompt to the next level. This is a great one if you're new to prompting ChatGPT. Next on our list is another Dolly tool. This one's called Logo Creator, and this one has over 100,000 chats already. Now, one of the best parts about this one compared to all the other logo designers and Dolly, the ones I've tested out, this one actually walks you through a very step-by-step -step guide before it creates the logo. It asks you very easy, simple multiple choice questions, and then it makes you pretty decent logos too. And look at this, it gave me 16 different variations. So it gives you an option. Do you want a single logo or nine? In this case, it gave me 16 for some reason, but really interesting. All kinds of variations gives me ton of ideas. Even if I want to hire a designer, now maybe this will give me something that I didn't think of before. And for the most part, you got the text right, but a lot of typos still. Dolly is not quite good yet at making text. It's not bad. Sometimes it gets it perfectly right, but sometimes it does not. So make sure if you're using logos that need a text to go ahead and play around with more prompts or just ask it to make a logo that's just the icon, no text. So then you could use another app like Photoshop or Canva to add the text yourself. The next one I picked at number six is by the ChatGPT team. They have 17 here and I tested all 17 and I think this creative writing coach is really impressive. This is basically what it does. You could paste some text that you wrote and get feedback to improve your creative writing skills. So I have some text 
And I'm just gonna say, give me some feedback to improve this. And I pasted this text from a science fiction thing that I've been writing. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that and let's see what we come up with. And I tested this versus just a regular chat GPT and this creative writing coach GPT actually did a better job giving me feedback that was more tailored in creative writing. So I know a lot of people use ChatGPT to write, mostly for business use cases, but if you're using this for personal and creative writing, this one is worth a look from the ChatGPT team. At number five, we have Convert Anything. This one has over 10,000 users. And this person, I've noticed they've created a bunch of different useful GPTs, but this one is very useful. A lot of times you have an image, let's say it's in PNG, but you need it in JPEG, or you have an audio that's in WAV, you need it in MP3. This does anything you want with conversion of any type of file. Now this is done through code interpreter that is part of ChatGPT, but this GPT just does it all in one place. So here's a PNG and I'm gonna say convert this PNG to JPEG. Maybe that's the file format that I need for a website that I'm uploading something to and I can't do a PNG file. And right over here, you see it's using code interpreter in the background and it's actually writing the code in order to make that file conversion in the background. And he gave me a direct link here to convert that as a JPEG, nice. At number four, we have Diagrams Show Me. This has over 25,000 chats. This was one of my favorite plugins. Right now, I think the plugins are just gonna go away because you can't update plugins as a developer anymore. And I think they're just gonna move all over to these custom GPTs. And basically this is what it does. It creates simple diagrams. If you are a visual learner or if you wanna teach someone something visually, it quickly creates diagrams like this. I like to use it for mind maps like this. I use a product called Freeform right now inside of my Mac, but this is a quick way to do this with AI. And it's gonna show you a ton more examples here. So if you want some kind of diagram to visually represent anything, this one is a GPT to use. So for number three, I have two of them on the list. One of them is just this most popular one, Consensus here, and Scholar AI. Again, one of my favorite plugins is Scholar AI. So between these two, you have 200 million research documents that you could find with this one. And same thing with this one. This one, again, analyzes text figures, tables from 200 million research papers. So with plugins, you could actually use two plugins at the same time or three. Now you have to use these GPTs individually. So you could go to them and here you could use this GPT that gives you access to something ChatGPT just doesn't have access to. All these research documents that only Scholar AI has access to or the ones that Consensus has access to. So if you're doing any kind of research, these two are great tools. At number two, we have NVIDIA AI. And NVIDIA AI is one of my favorite AI tools. It literally takes a single sentence and turns it into an entire video. Now they have a GPT that does exactly the same thing. So you could create a video by simply just typing in a text prompt. So let me just type in a quick prompt. And this GPT is created through an action here that connects to the regular NVIDIA AI and it starts creating the video in the background and it's gonna give you a link to click to finalize that video creation. So I'm gonna confirm. And just a second later, it's gonna give you a link. Technically, the video is not made yet. You need to click this link and you need to log into NVIDIA AI. They have a free version, but it does have a watermark. So you do have to pay if you actually wanna use this video. Now I've already logged into mine. So after you log in, if you click that link again, it basically brings you here. And I'm gonna to continue to my workspace. I basically don't have to do anything else after I click that link and log in. It's gonna go through the process of generating it. And in a couple of minutes, you're gonna get a whole video here. This is about three minutes long here, and it's gonna have a bunch of different scenes here. And he used basically story blocks, which is royalty free. It's not generating these from scratch, but it is finding different types of stock videos here and telling the story with voiceover. And it's fully editable. So if you press edit, everything in this video, including the script that it creates for you, including all these selections, including the voiceover, you could even upload your own media and then you could go ahead and export it. Again, if you get the paid subscription, you could remove the watermarks that you see over here as well. And before I show you number one, let me show you a couple of extra ones here. Zapier, this one automation consultant by Zapier is really useful. When you're building custom GPTs, you could have actions. Those could create automations. This is Zapier, which takes care of a lot of those automations for you. It's another service that works on the background. And you could use this GPT to find out different things you can automate. 
So just have a conversation and this basically works like your automation consultant, gives you a ton of good ideas. And Canva has over 100,000 messages in their GPT, but it's still not quite there yet. It's mostly a way to find templates and it links to Canva. So initially I thought this was gonna generate all kinds of different designs for you inside of ChatGPT, but it really became more of a template tool or a template search tool. So worth a look at if you wanna speed up the process of finding templates using ChatGPT and Canva. But right now I did not include it on the list until it could actually create those designs for you using chat. And my personal favorite here is screenshot to code GPT. Look at this, you could go to a website. Let's say I really like how Shopify lays out their pricing and I want my website to have a pricing page that looks just like this. All I have to do is take a screenshot and come over here and I just have to upload that. I don't have to give it a single prompt. Now ChatGPT with Vision could technically do this, but I never had a good time. It always ended up giving me partial code and it ran into some kind of error. So whatever this GPT did has bypassed that and I haven't had a single problem so far taking screenshots of different things and customizing it when I get the code. Let me show you, I'm gonna let this code finish up. This is basic HTML and CSS code. So usually any website builder like Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, they have a section that says add custom code and you just copy this code and add it. So you don't really actually have to look at the code at all. So if you have a website, if you plan on making a website and you wanna really customize it, but you don't know exactly how, you don't know any type of code behind the visual presentation, use this. So here on my website, here's a little HTML block. I copy and pasted that code. And look at this, just like that, I have this section on my website. I could obviously add a header to it and I could obviously change all this text, all the pricing and everything else, but everything else, it got pretty right on. Not bad without doing any actual coding. And we just released our complete custom GPT course. So if you wanna really take custom GPTs to the next level, this course is a little over 20 different videos showing you all kinds of different GPTs that we use internally in our company and how to build them, different ways to automate these GPTs using Zapier Actions, all kinds of different ways to use Zapier Actions. And we even have a section using something called BotPress that lets you add these GPTs to your own website. They could be customer facing, internal, but on your own website. This uses OpenAI API, a little bit more complicated, but included in this course as well and I'm adding sections here to the custom GPT store as well. So this is available, and when you sign up for Skill Leap AI, you get access to not only that course, but all these courses. So we have, that was course number 20. We release two to three new courses every single month, and it's all for one subscription price with a free trial to make sure it's a good fit for you. So I'll link that below. If you have a favorite custom GPT, let me know in the comment section so I could check it out, and I'll see you next time.